what are the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of the circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared equal 8x minus 6y plus 39. So what we got to do, this equation here describes a circle. And what we want to do is we've got to try and rewrite this into this form. Where again, h and k are the centers, or the coordinates for the center, and r is the radius. So in order for us to do this, we're going to have to do a little bit of completing the square action here. So, uh, we're going to bring all the terms that have a variable to one side, and we're going to group all the x's together, and we're going to group all the y's together, okay? So let's do that first. So I'm going to subtract over 8x and add 6y, and I'm going to leave 39 on the right-hand side. So I'll end up with x squared minus 8x, plus I'm going to give myself a little space, and then plus, because I'm going to be adding something over here, uh, y squared my, uh, plus 6y plus something equal to 39. So my objective now is to turn this trinomial into a perfect square. And the same thing goes for this guy right here. I say trinomial because I'm going to complete the square in just a moment. Okay, and turn that into a, compl uh, a perfect square. So how am I going to accomplish this? If you recall uh, from the days of studying Algebra 1, to complete the square, what we do is we take that middle coefficient there, we half it, and we square it. So half of 8 is 4, and square that, we get 16. We take this coefficient, which is 6, we half it, so that's 3, and we square it, and we get 9. So what we add to the left-hand side, we also have to add to the right-hand side, because we can't just you know, add something to one side of the equation. That will alter the original equation, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to add 16, and we're going to add 9. This will balance out the equation, so nothing will be really changed. We're not changing anything. We're just rewriting it x squared minus 8x plus 16, this converts to x minus 4, quantity squared. y squared plus 6y plus 9, that converts to y plus 3, quantity squared. Again, if you're confused about how I'm able to factor that, I highly encourage you to go into the videos where I talk about uh, completing the square uh, in the circles units. And then on the right-hand side, 39 plus 16 plus 9, what is that? That's equivalent to 39 plus 25, which is equal to 64. And this is the same thing as 8 squared. So I'm looking at an equation that is x minus 4 squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared. The center is 4 comma negative 3, and the radius is going to equal to 8. Which option best fits this? That would be option 4. 4 comma negative 3, r is equal to 8.